These are the top five defenses in Madden 25. And if you guys want to learn more about these defenses, make sure that you join my school community, school.com slash Cody Bauer. I'll put a link to that community in the description below. That's where you get access to all of my offensive and defensive ebooks. Several of these defenses, we do have full ebooks in there in our community. And the other ones we don't have just yet, we're going to be adding in future updates. So the cool part about the school community is that it always is updating. So if you're looking to take your game to the next level in Madden, make sure that you join the school community. Again, 10 bucks and you get access to everything all the offenses all the defenses all the updates everything for just ten dollars you can sign up at the link in the description below coming in at number five on our list is going to be nickel three three cub and the reason this defense is good is this defense has a really favorable alignment to play man-to-man -man coverage out of the play mike blitz zero uh, is really effective you can man up your linebackers this year uh, you can man up your d-line you can man up players you can also send pressure this is in the 4-6 playbook. There's also a 3-5 three, three, penny, I believe. That is in the Carolina playbook. Very similar to this. Uh, as far as a blitz setup from this, what we're going to do is we're going to spread our defensive line. We're going to slant them outside. Uh, and then we're going to basically stand to the running back side of the center and try to essentially drag and create these little loops or disengages at the offensive line. So again, very simple setup here. This is probably the worst of the blitzes that we're gonna be going over, but the run defense from this is really effective. The blitzes do, when they come in, they come in really well. Um, and then also the coverage. This is probably the best coverage, um, or at least one of the best coverage defenses as uh, as we look at this. So to me, this is uh, number five on our list due to its ability to kind of be a good basic defense, plays the run good, plays the pass good. Uh, it could be better in terms of you know blitzing aspect. The main thing this defense lacks is a good blitz, uh, which is why we put it number five, because blitzing is the centerpiece of every good defense. That being said, while you can still kind of get some pressure out of this, then you have to kind of put this at number five because it's so good against the run and there's so many things that you can do against the pass. Coming in at number four on our list here is going to be in the same playbook, actually, 4-6 playbook or multiple D playbook, and it is the nickel 3-3 formation. This formation is really effective due to its ability to cross man all the linebackers on the field on all different players. It also poses one of the best blitzes when your opponent is sending five out. I'm going to show you that blitz here. We can do it out of any play. And all you're going to do is you're just going to come out and you're going to show blitz. And what you're able to do when you show blitz here is actually let me, let me do one other thing here. We'll, we want to be in a cover two or cover zero shell. So if you're playing man, cover zero. If you're playing zone, uh, cover two. And we'll actually do it out of the play cover two. So you see here, now the linebackers are in a little bit better position. And what we're going to do is we're just going to blitz the linebacker straight down. And then you're just going to use the linebacker that is opposite of the running back. And then you can slant away from the running back. See, that's kind of what it looks like. And what you'll see here is we should get some crazy pressure. The time we did not get it. Let me actually show it to you again. And this time we're actually going to come out and base align it in a zone shell. I think that linebacker is just not kind of going where he's supposed to go on this blitz. So I am going to go ahead and put this on a base alignment. And when you put on a base alignment, you see now this linebacker goes where he's supposed to go. So we're just going to globally blitz our linebacker straight down. We're going to slant our D-line inside. And then you can just basically put your user in whatever zone that you want. So like right here, we're going to put him in a hook curl. But what you're going to see is a lot of times you are going to get this pressure. And this defense does not want to cooperate with me. So we're going to actually flip this and show you it on the left side because I'm pretty sure the left side will cooperate a little better. But, uh, yeah. So this is it. Just slant inside. Let's see if I can actually get the splits to come in for you. And you see there we get that A gap. So that's what's possible against five out. It's not 100% consistent, as you obviously see. But this defense is kind of neat. And uh, you can do it out of other plays, too. So, like, probably the best play to do it out of, honestly, is this LB blitz zero play just because it gets really nice crashing uh, blitz angles. And oftentimes you're able to get that A gap pressure in. So at number four on the list is this defense. This defense, his main weakness is it doesn't have a great blitz. Uh, as you can see, it's not like the best blitz in the world. And then the other main weakness of this defense uh, is really just found in the fact that it doesn't – like it's, it's run defense is kind of not – it's not super great run defense by any means. And the pass coverage, you can't play any kind of match. You can only play man or zone drop. So to me, those are some of the weaknesses of the defense. But all in all, this is still an effective defense in Madden 25. And that's why it kind of comes in at number four on our list. 
Coming in at number three on our list is Nickel 3-3-odd. This is one of my favorite defenses to start the year out. I think this defense is super effective. And this defense, in my opinion, is a better version, a more consistent version of both 3-3-5 wide or 3-3 cub and 3-3 or nickel stack, 3-3 stack. So uh, what we're going to be using here, the, the blitz play that I like to use is overload three press. Now, if you want to play man-based if you want to play a man coverage based defense, you would want to use the play pinch zero. The other cool part about this defense in particular, you have cover four drop, you have Tampa two, but you also have some matching concepts like cover six and cover three seam. So you have kind of some match plays and some zone drop and some man plays, which is really effective. And again, overload three press is the play. All you're going to do to set this blitz up is you are just going to show blitz. And with this show blitz, you see here, it's going to blitz this guy in this A-gap. And basically, we're just going to use her this opposite side A-gap. And a lot of times, as you see, we're going to get that really nice five-out blitz. Now, the really cool part about this defense is oftentimes when they are blocking their running back uh, against you, this blitz can still 100% come in. It's not 100% consistent, as you see there, uh, was able to be picked up. But this defense certainly can. Now, I want to show you another really cool blitz out of this. If you were to audible into any base play like Tampa 2 or any of that stuff, you can send it like this. And this is very similar to how we would want that 3-3 to work. And basically, this is just a better version. As you see, he just comes in a lot faster, and you're just able to get the pressure in a lot better. So you have a couple different ways to get pressure out of this defense. Honestly, the main weakness of this specific defense is going to be your uh, is going to be your your run defense. Your run defense is a little weak, and also like again, if they block their running back. This year, it's super hard to get pressure against a blocked running back. This defense does okay. It's, it's better than 3-3 and 3-3-5 wide. It's not going to be as good as the other two defenses we're going to talk about. But in general, um, this is one of my favorite defenses to run. And I think the main weakness of this defense is really just the run defense component. And sometimes, occasionally, it can get kind of misaligned. Uh, let me kind of explain that. So, like, let's say they audible from bunch to trips. It can get a little bit of a misalignment because it's not a symmetrical formation. So you would want to be flipping. You'd always want to be flipping your play. Uh, and then when you show blitz, oftentimes this can pretty much create this, this defense. But as you see here, we are blitzing off the left side. Now we're going to get that crazy A-gap pressure, as you see, whether they're in trips or bunch. So I think the pressure from this defense is really effective. I think the main thing that this defense can lack at times is is run defense but one of the cool things with this defense is you can pinch your d-line and when you pinch your d-line out of this it's it's very similar to what dollar used to be so the new dollar defense that they put into the game you can't pinch your d-line with this defense you can pinch your d-line uh to me that makes it a it's it's just a really cool feature um that that you still have the capability to get this really unique pinch that can then craft several different pressures from. So number three on our list is nickel 3-3 odd, and we do have a full defensive breakdown of this defense in our school community. Coming in at number two on our list is a two-for-one defense, the most popular defense in online Madden right now in comp Madden. It is mid blitz zero, and it is this play nickel dog three buzz. Now we're going to be showing you this defense out of both the 2-4 double mug and the nickel double mug in just a moment, and uh, we'll show you kind of how the how the defense works. So very simple. Um, the weakness of this defense, in my opinion, is really the pass coverage, uh, and, and really just more so like who you use her, uh, the alignment. There's some weaknesses there, but the blitz or the pressure aspect of this defense is very effective. I just think this defense does lack some things when it comes to coverage, and this is why I have this defense at number two. So what we're going to do to set the blitz up, though, is we're going to show blitz. We're going to slant our D-line inside, put this corner in the zone, put this guy in whatever zone you want him to be in, put this guy in whatever zone you want him to be in, and then you can just basically feel free to use her. Uh, this safety, and you're going to see that oftentimes it's going to create a A-gap disengage in which you're going to get pressure right through the A-gap. Now, what makes this pressure, in my opinion, so uncomfortable for your opponent to deal with is the fact that the pressure can come in even if they're blocking people. So that's what makes this super good. Where this becomes a little bit weak is if the pressure doesn't come in, you're very susceptible in terms of a coverage. You're, you're sitting four. The coverage from Sun 4 is okay this year with Switch Stick. But it is really just a bad alignment. As you see here, like 
you can really get out leverage to the solo side. You can get out leverage a lot of like in trips tight end. This defense really struggles to defend trips. Stuff like that makes this defense, in my opinion, it can't be the best defense. It's what a lot of people run, and it is a good defense. But I can't, I can't tell you that this is the number one defense in the game um, due to the alignment issues, right, in the top five list. So the main issue is alignment. The main issue is the fact that, like, you can get ran on with this defense. It's, it's not the easiest this year. Uh, it's harder to run on this defense than it hasn't been in your past. But in general, the biggest weakness of the defense is just the alignment. The fact that you have to use her as safety. Best defenses in the history of Madden have all been too high safeties. Very rarely do you see a defense like this. And if you want to use her, if you want to use her, this linebacker, what I like about 2 4, which is the whole reason I wanted to show it to you, is if you want to use her a linebacker, you can actually move these linebackers around. So, like, let's say I wanted to kind of stand like right here, I can do that because I'm using a linebacker. So. Anyway, that is, uh, that is the 2-4 double mug, and now we're going to get into the nickel double mug. So now we're going to get into the nickel double mug. Now, the 2-4 double mug can be found in a lot of different playbooks, Raiders playbook, the Panthers uh, playbook. But the nickel double mug, a lot of people would tell you, is slightly more effective than the regular double mug. And the reason that people would say that this defense is slightly more effective than the 2-4 double mug is for a couple of different reasons. One of those reasons is the fact that you have this package, strong safety inside, free safety inside, that can create different coverages that are more advantageous to a single high safety look. Uh, another reason is just the fact that when you're going to see here, when I come out in this nickel dog three buzz, you can also do this out of mid blitz. We'll come out of mid blitz for you guys here to show you it's the same. But basically what you can do is when you pinch your D-line, it's going to actually pinch both of these outside guys, whereas in 2-4, the linebackers will not pinch, right? So we're just going to pinch our D-line. We're going to show blitz, slant our line inside, and then really it's the same thing. You're going to zone out these D-ends and then or put them in whatever coverage you want, and then oftentimes you're going to want to use our safety in this defense. I think this one, to a degree, the blitz comes in a little bit better, and I think it has to do with this pinch of the D-line. I just think that it makes it a little bit better of an overall defense. Um, it's more difficult to run on, things of that nature. You know, but in general, this is this is the uh, the regular double mug. The Sen Six might be slightly better out of this as well, but it's not a whole lot different than the two four. Uh, there's just some some minor differences here and there. Two four probably a little better for coverage and double mug probably a little bit better for pressure. Again, I think this is a very good defense as, at this point in the year. It's probably the number two defense in the game, in my opinion. And the reason we're not going to rank this number one is there's just so many issues with the fact that you can't have two high safeties. You have to be able to have a full plethora of coverage options. And I feel like the double mug defense, because the best form of the pressure is to ultimately use her a safety because of that, I feel like that makes this defense worse. And ultimately, the main component of this – the Sin 6 is not super effective. And the main component of the defense is truly a disengage, a four-man disengage. So, to me, that kind of leaves this defense at that number two slot because the blitz can scream. It doesn't always scream, right? And then also the coverage can be quite vulnerable. And so, to me, while this defense is really good and probably the most popular defense in Madden 25 – I can't tell you that it's the best defense in Madden 25 compared to some of the other options. The number one defense on our list in Madden 25 is going to be dollar or dime 3-2. Now, the cool part is this is also found in the Jets defensive playbook in the 4-6 defensive playbook. So some of, our, uh, some of the other defenses on our list you can still have access to if you want to run them. But what makes Dollar so effective every single year is it seems to be the best overarching combination of coverage and pressure. The best overarching combination of coverage and pressure. We're going to show you that in this video. And typically the way I like to run Dollar is auto flip off and auto alignment to base. It's a symmetrical formation, so you're never really vulnerable to people audibly around or flipping, you can just come out and really just have like the same alignment here. Now this play free safety zone blitz is is really good. Uh, my favorite blitz is gonna be DB fire. And the basic idea here is we're just going to pinch our D line. We're going to slant our D line inside and we're gonna QB contain. And basically what you'll see here 
is oftentimes you'll get one, if not both, of these slot corners uh, to be able to come in at the quarterback. This is one variation of the defense. I'm going to show you uh, uh, the free safety zone blitz here in a moment. I forgot the audible to DB Fire 2. But what makes this defense so effective, in my opinion, like I said, is it's just symmetrical. It's got great coverage. It's The pressure is really effective. The, blo the, the dollar blitz is in practice mode. Also, little fun fact, they are slightly worse than they are in a game mode. Now, that being said, let me show you free safety zone blitz. So basically the way this defense uh, works is we're going to try to send four. So we're just pinching, and you see that often we can get that A-gap. It's a very similar A-gap to what we were doing out of 3-3-5 odd, very similar to what we were doing out of 3-3-5 stack, even kind of similar, honestly, to 2-4 double mug. It's really trying to get that pressure up the A-gap. Now, while this blitz is not 100% consistent, it is one of the better blitzes in the game. And again, with Dollar, what you have is you just have so many different options for how you might want to send some pressure. Like you could send it out of DB Fire, um, like this, for example, and try to get a five-man overload on the left hand uh, you can send it at a free safety zone blitz you can send both slot corners you can if you wanted to you can try to send four right you could try to send four and send only one slot corner and sometimes this actually can get really good pressure this year the four man pressure um, is, is very very good another little kind of pro tip this year um, is one of those years with dollar where it's super significant where you stand so if I stand on this side of the field a lot of times it can trigger that left side pressure to come in Right. But another thing that you get with dollar is not just the blitz threats like you have a blitz threat. You don't have to have the best blitz threat in Madden, but you have to have a blitz threat, in my opinion, so that they're consistently blocking their running back. And this free safety zone blitz is a very good blitz threat. Right. Um, and, and of course, DB fire, too. But the other thing that's really good about dollar is the fact that you have this too high safety alignment where we can craft all kinds of different coverages from this from this position. We can easily create cover three, cover four, cover six. We can run a full coverage gamut. And the other thing, and I've been talking about this in Madden for so long, make making every single defense you run look exactly the same is so helpful when playing defense. So by having the ability to just be on a baseline and press, the baseline and press to me is the best. And the baseline and press also is going to give you the most amount of options to change the picture post app. We could easily audible to the cover four drop and be in a drop eight coverage, just simply shading inside and it's more of a shed defense. And oftentimes this defense can get great pressure as well. So to me, dollar still is the number one defense. We have a full ebook on this defense in our school community and we are updating this defense significantly and we will continue to. Um, this, this defense to me just has stood the test of time to be the best defense in the game for a variety of reasons, right? It's not just one thing, but when you put everything together, you can just see that this defense is, is super effective, right? A lot you can do from it. The w main vulnerability that Dollar traditionally has been the run, but by this defense being more of a pinch D line, it's essentially just a more spread out version of three, four odd. And you don't always have to use her that right side guy, right? You can situationally say, okay, we want to use her. This guy, maybe we want to send a little bit more DB fire this game, right? User kind of changing who you use or can also kind of change how the blitzes work. So anyways, uh, I really think dollar is just the clear cut number one defense in the game right now. Eventually, I think you're going to see that. Um, I think you're going to see a lot of people shift to this defense. This defense has just stood the test of time. It's been good for so long. And ultimately, it, it does have the best coverage. And if you can get blitzes out of dollar, this defense has the best coverage. You don't have to have the best blitz, but if you have a good blitz out of this defense, you will have a very, very uh, tough defense that is a bend but don't break defense that can get stops in the red zone. That's what dollar ultimately is. It's hard to beat this defense consistently year in and year out because you make it look the same and you can get some crazy blitzes. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to check out any of these defenses more in depth, make sure you're in our school community. I have breakdowns of pretty much all of them in there, and we have full ebooks on, I think, three or four of them with more ebooks coming. So make sure that you're in the school community. Ten bucks gets you access to everything. These are the top five defenses in Madden 25.